Hello, welcome to this very quick review of Internet Explorer 9. This way is the beta version of Internet Explorer 9, which is currently available for download from Microsoft. And as we look at it on the screen here, one of the first things you'll notice straight away is a much less cluttered screen. They've got rid of some of the menu bars. We can get them back if we wish by pressing the Alt button. That'll give us all the things we're familiar with, file, edit, view, favourites, tools, etc. Um, but by default, that's not there. What we do have now is the home button, the favourites button, and the little cog symbol here. And what that'll do is it'll bring up things like internet options. There's also quite a handy developer tools option in here, which will let us do a variety of things, including, for example, capturing the relationship that our website has with our, with our browser, to see what's going on, how long it takes to download images, etc. A very, very, very useful capability. One of the ways they've actually saved this space is to actually remove the search bar, which normally sits about there. They've done that because now we have a single box where we type our URL. We also type whatever we're interested in searching for. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I actually find it quite useful now. If I type in there IE9 demo, for example, what it will do is it will look at the history, and you can see I've obviously been to this site before. It will give me some suggestions that Google's made, and I can choose whether it's Google or Bing or any other search provider. Or I could step straight out and go to the Google website there. That sounds like it might be quite useful. We'll click on there, and that'll take us straight to that, to that screen. Now what the screen is showing is actually a site optimised for Windows Internet Explorer 9, the beta version, but it lets us actually do some tests as to the performance of our browser, particularly in relation to the new capabilities around HTML5 and hardware accelerated access to graphics. And there are a number here, and if you get the opportunity give them a try. I quite like Fish IE Tank. If we give that a click, what that enables me to do is to render a whole number of fish, 100, 250, 500, 1000, uh, if we wish. Uh, onto our screen. And you can see I've got ooh, about 20 fish at 60 frames a second whizzing around my screen. Let's improve that number and you can see we've got pretty, pretty good access to that. Now if I just pop open Firefox here, one of the things you'll notice straight away is A, there's quite a lot more screen space actually put to one side and B, we're not quite managing such a good rate of return in terms of the, the frame rate. Our poor little fish is, is quite stuttered. If we use the Windows Snap to capability, and we'll do the same, we'll have 50 fish in each of them. Very quickly, the Firefox example starts to look as if we're watching a Disney 3D movie, but without those special glasses that they sell you at the mall. So performance is going to be pre is pretty good, I think. Whilst it's likely to be the performance improvements that we get the most benefit from, there are also some nice little tweaks and sort of peripheral enhancements that Microsoft have made. For example, this one. Let's just open a new tab, and one of the first things it does is actually give us a suggestion as to how, what we might want to open, based on our activity. On this test machine, I've clearly been to Facebook quite often. I've been into LinkedIn quite a few times. I've been to the QA website. I've been to the BBC News website. So actually, it's a site I use frequently. That's the one I'm interested in. I need to know what's going on in the world. We can open up the BBC website straight from there, which, which, is, which is pretty neat. But I'm also quite interested in this, and actually I don't need the BBC website anymore, so perhaps I'll close it. Oops, I've closed the one that I'm actually interested in. What I can do is I can right-click, and I can reopen Close Tabs, which is, a, which is a pretty neat capability. I also have this habit of actually having far too many sort of windows open and tabs open. It all gets very complicated. One of the other neat capabilities we now have, we can now lift a tab straight off there and into its own browser if we've got an urge to do so. One other capability that's, I think, quite nice in Internet Explorer 9 is the ability to actually pin pages right onto the taskbar here. If you're thinking, well, where's the value in actually doing that? Well, if you think increasingly, a lot of applications are now delivered as web pages. Whilst this is actually Facebook, in, in terms of my little example here, it could just as easily be our CRM system or our inventory system. Web page designers can actually tweak it so that if we right-click it, we can actually get web page sort of context sensitive information actually I'm interested in news or messaging or events that will take me straight to that particular page 
if I just click on it, it will actually launch Facebook for me, launch the browser, and away we go.